To make a warm halloumi salad, first bring one pan of water to the boil, two cups of water, one cup of quinoa per person. Add a drop of olive oil and then cut up some garlic and throw that in as well. The book of love is long and boring. No one can lift the damn thing. I wouldn't ever think to sort of look on you. It's, it's one of those things that unless you know. Now I know you, I might not watch them, but I But it was so funny. How did you get it to the wider world? Well, it's, well, I don't know, when I started, when I was like 16 or whatever, people who watched them were people who made videos. They were only being watched by like, people who did it themselves, you know? Yeah. I remember in first year, everyone found out about my videos. I'd be out of music and people would come up and be like, you're the blogger from Burks and all this stuff. And I'd be like, oh my God. I was, I was so embarrassed. No, because it was like weird. Were they, were they nice about it? They were nice about it, but at the same time, it's just like, it's not something that you really, you know, tell people about. To be honest, yeah, just like something that people aren't really familiar with, obviously. It's a way to like tell stories and make little films. You can buy cucumbers in half cucumber portions. The reason why I'm doing this video is because people always say, how can you do that on a student budget? And the thing is, when you don't eat meat, you save yourself so much money. That money goes on like vegetables, fruit and things like that. I normally don't spend more than 10 pounds a week. I spent about a tenner on grains and rice and quinoa and couscous, uh, bulgur wheat, all of that. And that still lasted me. I'll show you my cupboard in a bit and it still lasted me all this time. The halloumi I've turned off now, because it's all grilled nicely. It will look like it's burn or like it's just a bit golden and very white on the inside, but that's okay, because that's how halloumi works. So I'm chopping up some cucumber here now, but you don't really need, you could do it with peppers, you could do it with anything. I'm just gonna keep stirring the quinoa because I don't want it to like stick, but normally it's quite good about not sticking. The thing you can tell with that is when it normally will have soaked up most of the water, all of the water, and the water will go clear. It normally takes 15 minutes and that's nearly up now in about two minutes that will be up and it looks like this which i don't know if you can tell it just dropped and fell off it's really nice because it means you don't have to be making pasta all the time let's have a look at my cupboard actually while that's finishing off in it you see that we've got some parcel liquid tabs porridge quinoa bulgur wheat couscous uh black turtle beans which i haven't done anything with yet a huge bag of rice still because rice lasts forever balsamic vinegar Sweet chilli sauce, soy sauce, garlic, hot chocolate, tea, Zinfandel wine, this is my favourite, it's from Mark Spencer, it's so lovely, a little bit of gin left over and an empty bottle of tonic. And I've got a little Covent Garden soup, I've got some olive oil and I've got some rocket watercress and spinach. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off the heat and let it use the remaining heat of the saucepan. Take a sieve or a proper strainer as you wish and pour it out. If you keep the hot water in basically, you will just be drinking hot water, it would be bad. Add in a handful of rocket watercress and spinach. You can literally do this with any of those. Just spinach, just watercress, just rocket. Then we add in our warm quinoa, or quinoa, or however you prefer to pronounce it. And then the cucumber goes on top, adding another layer of green. Colours are a really good guidance for food. If your food looks colourful, then it's probably quite good for you. And I don't mean colourful in the way of like a slushy or a slush puppy or whatever they're called. Add in your little bits of halloumi. It's great, like this pack of halloumi cost me three pounds. Use it with three different salads, all with a lot more halloumi than this one. So now I've got a lime, and you take the lime and you squirt it, especially over the quinoa, because it just gives it that extra kick of flavour. And being Mexican, I am never without my limes. There we go, easy as pie or as, you know, warm halloumi and quinoa salad. Do let me know if you've tried to make it yourself, if you've had any issues with it, if you liked it, if you want to fix it, if you have a better recipe yourself. In video responses, let me know in comments. I really genuinely want to know. Student cooking doesn't just have to be about pasta and spending shitloads of money on meat because um, there's a lot more to it than that. All right, bye guys.